All right, guys, GoToBoy32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack, and I am tuning up and getting this rifle ready. This is my three-gun rifle. She's running. Come on now. Don't be a bitch. Anyway, she's running the new JP handguard, and I will tell you this. I am very, very happy with the way it feels. Very light right now. Of course, it doesn't have the BCG in it. <laughs> we're just getting it ready. But here's the deal. I want to make an announcement. I don't know so much if it was an announcement or not. Mr. Rob from uh, Pops Quest made the announcement yesterday. Uh, I'm going to be running the uh, USPSA Multi-Gun Nationals in about five weeks. He and I decided to go ahead and do that. He Actually, he's big in the USPSA. He does a, he's freaking awesome in shooting. And he said, you want to go ahead and shoot this with me? Because uh, we all started out together. It was myself, Israel 6 Cover, Ray, uh, X-Ring was my first uh, range official in RO, and then uh, Pops and myself. <clears throat> and since then, we've just grown into the competition world. I have not shot as much competition as I would like just because I just don't have time. I travel a lot. However, this was pretty important. And put a closet together for my wife in exchange for a three-day weekend to go shoot this Nationals. Now, the Nationals is pretty big. This is going to be a lot of sponsored folks out there. I uh, anticipate you're going to see all the, the big names out there. I know that Keith Garcia right now has signed up to it. For, I'm, I'm really excited about that. So, why are we doing this video right now other than just make this huge announcement that, uh, hey, we're all running it together. And I think X-Ring might be joining us also. That would be really cool. We were doing a live chat the other night. And one of the things that I uh, wanted to clarify, and this is kind of a rule book clarification, this is Appendage E2, page 108 of the USPSA rulebook. Let me do that one more time. The USPSA rulebook. We're talking about muzzle brake sizes. And I was really concerned about this whole thing because uh, you go all the way down there, you got a muzzle brake that doesn't meet the standards. And I wanted to eliminate any type of confusion because in Three Gun Nation, USPSA, or whatever, you are allowed to have the muzzle brake cannot exceed three inches in length or one inch in diameter, like this. So the first thing I did was I pulled the muzzle brake out. And, you know, we don't even know, does that include, like, bushings? Uh, does that include the uh, crush washer or a uh, timing nut? And kind of confused about that. So I looked it up on Appendage E2-108 of the USBSA rulebook, and it does not include the full length of the muzzle brake. In fact, it is just measured from the end of the board, and you have the overlap of the threads to the end of the muzzle brake. And they do that, they only have to take it off, and you know, you can look at a muzzle brake and you can tell when something's not right. But I looked on the website and this thing was 2.93 inches. I got all excited, then I included the threads, and I was like, oh my gosh, that's, that's three point something uh, inches, and even, where is it at, on my backup rifle, right here, I run the SJC comp, and it's the same way, the overall length from end to end was, say, 3.25, and then we clarified it <coughs> in the rule book, and what they do, you put the muzzle brake on here, and that's the whole thing about USPSA, they are all about their rule book, that thing's a long rule book. And again, what you don't want to do is get down there in a situation and uh, your equipment makes you fail. So anyway, they take a stick or a pencil like this that has a three inch measurement on it. And actually we can do it with this thing. We can go three inches. Right there. And take the end. Go ahead and push it in there, like so, and you've got your measurement, and you can tell that the end back here, well, it doesn't exceed the three inches, which is kind of a relief for me because what here's the deal. Uh, when you zero a rifle and you change a muzzle brake, it will change the point of impact, which is one of those things, the, the harmonics, everything involved from the, the, the point where you can change the BCG or the bolt or the muzzle brake, those all items all act in conjunction with one another and they will impact <laughs> your impact. Uh, so here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, in the competition, I'm gonna go ahead and run 
the uh, Primary Arms Platinum. It's a heavy beast, but I like having that eight power. I don't know that they're going to be shooting out to distance. I was actually watching a video the other day, but, oh, by the way, the reason we're out here is I'm going to do a tabletop review of this guy right here. This is the Primary Arms GLX 2.5 by 10 by 44 with the Raptor. Raptor reticle. This is a beautiful, beautiful optic. So anyway, uh, we're actually going to test this rifle out and, and conduct the zero and chrono and everything uh, using this optic. But it's interesting because uh, you have power factor that we have to qualify with. I, I just can't go ahead and load up my regular loads that I'm usually used to using uh, in my three-gun pistol, the uh, Atlas Titan. I'm going to have to make power factor uh, with the 9mm or minor or whatever it is. Uh, you also have to make a power factor with this guy right here, but I don't think there's going to be a problem using uh, factory ammo. And I'm probably going to go ahead and just use factory ammo for this guy. So anyway, I thought that'd be interesting. Good announcement there. We're going back to train wreck. is <laughs> going back to work. And uh, we're going to be partying hard together and uh, shooting that competition. It's a three-day event. They're stickler for the rules. So one of the things I'm going to be doing is uh, going over the rule book real, real good. Uh, talking about... Uh, where to load, how to load, how to carry. I ordered a bunch of chamber flags that uh, had the little tag on them because I don't want to have any issues while I'm down there. You just pay that kind of money and you don't want to get DQ'd. Well, anyway, guys, I thought this would be kind of cool. I'm releasing this first thing in the morning so you guys can have it. So uh, where's my coffee at? Here's the Monday. Let's kick ass and take names. Coda Boy 32, sport red, white, and blue. God bless America. God bless his men, women, in uniform.